Hey guys, I got a very funny joke to tell you. Two monkeys walked into a- Nope, I didn't even try. So there's your joke. So basically, just press left if you ever make a mistake in entering a house and don't want to stay. But we're actually gonna have to. Good day, Crazy Kong. My name is Benny. Me and my friend brother Bonjour run the chairs lift. Would you like to use my chair lift? It's a lot of fun. Yeah, sure, buddy. Let's do that. Okay, get on that damn chair lift. Though I would I would actually be kind of cautious on that thing. I don't know if it, I, I've never really liked chair lifts or anything attached to like cable cars or anything. It just seems fucking creepy. But now we go from a hard level to an even harder level. Q's confused cliffs. If guess what the gimmick is, guys? It starts with a B. Burning rope! God damn. So yeah, this this level is very fucking evil. This is my least favorite, well not least favorite, but this level is cruel. This is the prime real estate of ass kicking in this game. Because this game hates you at this point. This game's like, oh we've been shoving buzzes up your ass and buzzers up your ass. Let's do that in combination now. With the burning rope. Awesome. And you're gonna have to dodge these damn assholes over here. And I think if you go to the right, oh dick! <clears throat> if you go to the right, there might, or if you go off to the right at one point, you might get to a bonus. And I do emphasize the word "might," like right over here. And I think I just fucked. Yep, yeah, here we go. Fuck that damn little banana trail. I can do it my own way. And we need to find the coin. I'm guessing I'm gonna have a rope chase my ass. Shit. Fucking crazy ass rope. Not cool. Not cool. Thank God. <clears throat> Damn, the rope just like freaking fizzled up and dropped. Okay, so yes, this level is very, very evil. I would not recommend. Wow, what a way to die. I try to set myself up, realize I can't make the jump. Fall back down, land on the fire, and die. <laughs> yes, that's that's might very well happen to you in this level. But yes, this level is very evil. This is probably one of the hardest levels in the game right here. <laughs> if not like top five. I I must say at least top five. Cause this damn gimmick is like torturous. Just try to Follow the banana trails, as you can see, because they can't help you out in terms of dodging shit. Alright, let's see what we got here. <clears throat> oh god. Yes, it, it definitely helps to turn yourself back and forth. Otherwise, those damn enemies are going to smack you upside the face. Thank you, buzzers. Why can't you guys just stick with, like, a more clever name, like... No, can't... Oh god. Man. Yeah, that's a definitely an evil set of buzzes right there. I I just don't understand the, the levels like insane ideas coming your way. If you wanna head up here, get that nice little bear coin, slowly get your ass back up here and find out that there's a midway point, thank god. And I wanna get in that. <laughs> What's over here, game? Just another bit bear coin and bananas, cool I guess. But yeah, this level isn't Horribly hard, but it can kill you a lot. Mainly with the enemy placement being quite a bitch. And the fact that shit can happen to you. So try to take any barrel that you might see in fucking hell. I did not expect a damn thing to hit me upside the face. And wow, I did all that for a bear coin. Only to realize I had to come back anyway. Thank god there was a barrel there over there. But yeah, these buzzes are really fucking evil. I mean, they just know how to swoop in in the worst kind of positions, and I have a feeling there is nothing over here, so I'm dead. So yes, if you go off the bottom of the screen, you're fucked. Just letting you know. <laughs> but yeah, this level, the level before that, this is the reason why this area is so difficult. I mean, there is nothing... <clears throat> I mean, there is some other difficult levels, but these first two is like... Just saying, hello, you're now in a very hard world. Please enjoy your stay. Okay, oh, what the hell? Yeah, bullshit game. Okay, so that did not work out too well. 
was kind of hoping I would not get murdered there, but... Oh, God. So, yeah, it's not cool being in a, between a burning rope and a buzz. I mean, it's a horrible feeling, honestly. <clears throat> and you can probably guess that coin is going to be near the end of this level. Can, considering there's so much auto-scrolling going on at this time, I don't think you could really do anything in the matter of seconds that you might need. Which you want to head over here for another easy bonus barrel. <clears throat> Thank you, Bananas, for hinting on that. It's another find a coin, really. Oh boy, looks like we gotta fucking dodge damn buzzes. Not cool. Pretty much alternating on you guys. Not too hard if you to, to learn the pattern, but it's hard to turn and move up at the same time. So try to give yourself some space above the burning rope. Otherwise, you could be losing that bonus and not getting back to it anytime soon. <coughs> now we have this evil part where you're gonna have to play dodge the freaking horizontal buzzers, or I guess diagonal ones. And more evil dodging buzzers just say, fuck them, I'm gonna take the easy route. <coughs> and holy crap, that guy almost clicked me. <coughs> and we're finally at the end of this shitty ass level. We can stay on the rope because you wanna stay on it for a good reason. You wanna actually get this thing over here. And realize where the fuck the oh, where the hell is it? Oh, now I see game. Oh, he's in the fucking thing. No wonder. So what you want to do here is you want to throw it against the wall and have to go on the other side and get that freaking coin. <clears throat> you know what would be embarrassing, guys? Falling in that pit between the exit and that little ledge there. Embarrassing. <clears throat> Alright, so that takes care of that level, and I actually did that somewhat smoothly in terms of not dying horribly. But it looks like we got a cave, and we might have a ladder level, which is quite strange, really. Nevertheless, Flood Life Fish, you can probably take a good guess what this level might pertail to. Dark water. Fish that lights up said water. <coughs> like this guy over here. He, unfortunately, will not be helping me out in terms of... Oh, there we go. That's more like it. So pretty much what you have to do here, poke this guy, and he will light up the place for you so you can actually see. Dang it. Dang it, uh, rareware. You just always have to have these kind of levels, I've noticed. And God, your face, that guy's face is really creepy when you hit him. <laughs> but this level is not too hard. It's definitely a cooldown from all that shit that you had to do beforehand, but you definitely want to try to be a little bit careful at least. And you want to try to be quick because once it gets dark, it's really hard to see enemies in your face. Like those damn bird lurchins. <laughs> we also got fast moving fish. I have a feeling there's something over here. Oh, that's not bad. <clears throat> Fuck you too. Oh damn. Great, now it's getting all dark. Thank you, Bananas, for helping me out there, though. <coughs> Alright, so, shit. I have a feeling there's something up there, but... Too bad I can't really check now. Oh, well, I guess I can now. But yeah, I'm gonna try to keep my eye out for any bonuses, like, not there. And I'm starting to run out of freaking light time. Not good. Of course, the game just loving to say, Hey, whoa! Oh, there's an easy bonus. Wow, game. Way to, way to hide that one. It's like, hey, it's right over here. Collect 90 stars. Yeah, not good. But this one probably isn't going to be too far. It's just, it's just testing how well you can see in the dark, really, and how fast you can collect stars with a fish. If you can do that just fine, you'll be okay. Alright, so just try to go around in a circle. Make sure that you collect, don't leave any strays around. And there you go. There's your damn bonus coin. Fuck yes. Where the hell are you going at? Guard. Nevertheless, done with that part, we start in front of you real quick. And I apparently got an extra life. Sweet. Guess I uh, got somehow landed on a couple bananas there. Yeah, this level is kind of evil, I guess, but like I said, Kong Fuse Cliffs will make you make any level after it seem easier. It's you and the level before that. That level one was a bitch, too. And you can definitely guess where the coin is in this one. It's probably near the end. Yep, you're right. Of course, you got this nice little vertical shaft of evil, and what's over here? Just an easy to get in there. Hmm. And there's my next fish. Girl, give light up this place for us, man. I have a 
feeling I'm, this game's hiding something on me. Anything down here? No. What was the point of hiding shit down here? It just seems like a very pointless pathway. Fuck you. Alright, so we're gonna head over here and realize there's three fish probably protecting a bonus. Or a fish pr protecting a, uh, coin. Wow. I swear those bear coins are seeming to get more and more annoying to get. And we're fine. It's like every time you find one and you're hoping for something better, you get shit. Yeah, that's why the bear coins are feeling right now. But as you can see, this level not torturing me too bad. Only thing is you have to really worry about is just you running into enemies in the dark. And maybe finding a bonus is... Dick! Hitting you real quick, thank you. So yeah, these fish here, these guys... These guys are probably the real culprit of your deaths in this level, because God forbid, it's really hard to see those fish coming your way. And there's a banana bunch I don't really care to get, because I think I already got enough. In my day. So just try to take this level slowly, calmly, just like the level music implies. And I think it will do okay. What's over here? Gee, sweet. I'll definitely be taking that. And what's up with this? No, I think I'm gonna take the right path, see if I can get lost. Damn it! Oh boy, get over here. Am I gonna find a bonus game? Find a banana bunch. God, it's really hard to sh see shit in the dark. Well, it's kind of obvious, Waller. Stop, Pope, stop it! Damn, man, stop trying to... I don't know what Garde was doing there, but apparently he hates light em up fish. I guess he must have had a nightmare with light bright involved or something. It's like, what the fuck? And we're at the end of this level. Please tell me I'm gonna find a bonus barrel in the, in the next, like, I don't know, two minutes? Oh, great. Well, let's at least this thing... Or at least this one looks easy. Yeah, it looks stupidly easy. But we have a droopy flag. Not cool. Not cool at all. Don't be happy, kitty. You fucking got a droopy flag. So hold on as I locate the actual... The second bonus here real quick. And it better not be this thing where it's like, Hey, did you look at the begin... Up above the uh, beginning of the level? Because that would make me a little upset. I don't want our glimmers galling up my ass. Hold on just a moment. Alright guys, I'm gonna check around here real quick, cause I just feel like there's something I'm missing here. Alright, let's try checking to the right. It's not good having no light here though, game. What the fuck? Who can't see where I'm going, thanks a lot. Okay, finally got some light here. Okay, so I think... Oh, there it is. Right there. Game, you, you tickle me sometimes. Not in a good way. Oh, it's just... Oh, you guys just seem to be the worst spot. Yeah, look at that fucking shit. Skish kebab. Okay, so we gotta collect 40 stars now. I'm guessing there's going to be a catch here. It's a line of stars this time. It's, I suppose it's a nice big-ass cluster, so just all the stars. Sounds like a pretty easy, evil gimmick in a way, considering that you couldn't fuck up your little trailing there, but once you do that perfectly fine, you'll end up back where you want to be. Alright, so I'm done with that. I'm gonna press star and select, and we're gonna head on to the next area. Come on, kitty, get your ass out there. Pothole panic. Sounds like this level's going to be a douche. Not cool. And I'm guessing it's an arcade level game. Just, just, just tell me game. Yep, another cave level. Damn it. And we gotta use squawks. It's, this is pro probably like the second time I actually have to ride on an animal buddy. I don't think I've ever been... Oh, great. Oh, this level's evil. Now I remember what this whole gimmick is all about. Pothole panic refers to these damn enemies. These guys that throw bombs out at you. You don't want to be above them when they throw them. Otherwise, you're gonna get quite smacked upside the face. Yes, this level is quite an evil one. I should just try to use, make liberal use of the L button. And oh, L button. I mean the Y button. I have a feeling there's something good down here. Like a fucking coin. God damn it, game. Stop taunting me with them damn bear coins. They're not worth that much worth it, damn it. Ah, uh, fuck you. 
Okay, and I don't think there's anything of value up in those holes that'll bar with them. However, this bird might have a banana grate. And this bird almost fucking killed me. Thank God it- ah! Fuck you. And I think this is my biggest stopping point here, guys. Just maybe. Yeah, I don't want to do another evil-ass level with a bunch of buzzers, which apparently is the new buzz. What are their names, actually? Is it Copter? Is that their clever name? But nevertheless, next time, guys, we're going to try to get through the rest of this area since we only have two more levels to go. So thanks for watching. Have a great day, and adios.